Cicero because your lifestyle matters. I'm Charlie Pignon and today I'm going to share with you a documentary that I co-produced with my amazing friend Anna Marino which I miss so so much. We practically did every single student project together. She has the cutest fashion blog called Moda Addicted so make sure you check that out. But we decided to do a documentary based on women bikini competitors to show that it's not just how skinny they are or tan they look but about the mental challenges that they go through in preparation to these competitions. So without further ado, here's Triple Threat. Competitors in general, that's awesome. I think everybody needs to compete at least once in their life. And it takes so much work and dedication. Now, bikini competitors, I know there's a lot more cardio, a lot more dieting. like. There's a lot more stress in you being smaller, and even though you have to build muscle, you can't get striated, you can't look too big because then you look like figure. I have a whole different appreciation for them. My name is Ivana Medina. I am 24 years old. I got into fitness about, I want to say, like two, maybe two and a half years ago. I just decided I wanted to change my body, and I started going to a new gym. I changed the way I was eating, and then eventually I became a trainer there, and then after that, it was just, I had to compete. It was the next challenge. I was nine when we moved from Venezuela. My, my mom decided that we had a better chance at a future here in the States and she pretty much packed up her whole life and we came here, just her and I. Ivana, uh, it's been easy to raise her, but because she's so mature, she's always questioned and questioned many of the things that you've done, you know? So it, it, it was a challenge on that way, but it was beautiful to see that she was gonna have a strong, beautiful personality. I actually have three shows lined up for this season. I'm doing uh, my first one in March and then two in April, just because my coach thought it would be a good idea that if I already did a 10 week prep, I could just extend it and then finish doing the other two shows. So hopefully if I don't place in the first, I can place in one of the other two. I'm always sad when I set my mind to something and then I can't do it. However, at the end of the day, I'm not gonna be perfect. There's always gonna be something I can change, something I can better. And no matter what it is, even when I go on stage, the judges are always gonna have a critique, even for the pros. I just feel like it's a mental game. Like you need to choose what you want most and at that point fight for it because there's days I wake up and I don't feel like doing cardio and there's days I wake up and I don't want to cook or I don't want to eat fish anymore. Or you know, it's just, it's a battle against myself for what I want most and that's when I have to remember why I started and what I want from this competition. My daily routine pretty much includes fasted cardio six times a week so I wake up there's a different times every day. It depends at what time I go to sleep. And then I go, I right now my cardio is up to 45 minutes on fasted. So before I eat, I'll go and I'll either do the treadmill or the Stairmaster. From there, I time my meals to be two to three hours apart, have six meals a day, and then I train again with weights, depending on what body part it is. Then I have cardio again after that. For right now, it's 35 minutes. I have a coach, his name is Julio Hernandez. He is part of Iron Legends. He is tough on me like nobody has ever been. He kicks my butt, but it's so much fun. Ivana found me on Instagram, if I'm not mistaken, through just uh, mutual contacts and just seeing that uh, she was looking for a coach at a time. And uh, she contacted me via email, if I'm not mistaken, or DM me on Instagram. And um, we set up another console. And my consoles are normally uh, just free of charge, just to meet, we talk. I, she asked a bunch of questions, I provided the answers for her, and the rest is history. I remember I was trying on my bathing suit and um, I started crying and I was like, but I was crying because I was so happy that I had made it and everybody's like, I'm so proud, I can't wait to see you. So it, 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 was, it started off being for me and at some point it felt like I was doing it more for everybody else, but towards the end it was like, well, you know, I'm really glad I did it and that I have everybody support. I'm, I'm a little anxious, but I just want to get on already. I have a long way to go, and I don't want to mess up my tan or mess anything up. And I want to make sure I get all my meals in, and then just answer all these text messages. <laughs> Thanks. We text every day, literally every day. I think there's not a day that goes by that she won't send me uh, pictures of her bra dress. And it's like it's funny because she doesn't see any changes, but I'll see. All right, you're tidy today. She's like, Where do you see that from? It's just being in the industry for so long. You see the pictures, but uh, her and I became. You know, really good friends. We talk all the time. We text all the time. She's at my gym all the time training. Her personality is amazing. She knows how to pose. She knows how to. She's a very curvy girl, and she knows how to really accentuate those curves even more. And that's what bikini is about. I was cool. I was honest. <laughs> 
but I like the experience. I like the way my body changed. I like the determination and the hard work and you know all the willpower that it, that it taught me that I had. So I'm, I'm gonna keep going with it. Just gonna be really smart about the shows I pick and the way I do them. And then other than that, just practice. I wasn't as nervous as I thought I would be. I got really nervous once I was on stage. But like on the stairs and stuff, like I was really calm, I felt really confident. It was once I actually got there that my body started shaking on its own. like oh my god what am I doing but after that her stage presence which is a confidence was to a, to the roof, a whole nother level she knows how to pose really really well um, and that goes you can see it in her smile you can see how she moves how easy she flows and how smooth she is on the floor I didn't have the money at the time. I was going through a couple family issues. So at the end of the day, it was more like, okay, for your mental sanity, just take a little break and you'll, you'll be able to do another one. And I had a, an idea that it was gonna be expensive. I mean, just my coach alone, I pay him monthly. So I knew that was gonna be an expense. Uh, the most expensive thing is food. I eat so much food. Most of my money went to that. I knew that I was it was gonna be an investment. I saw it as an investment for my career when it comes to fitness, as an investment in my blog, as an investment in myself. And so I went for it. Um, I can't even tell you how much I spent because I put it on cards and then I just pay it off. Because if I look at it as one amount, I'll probably sit down and cry. <laughs> I was, I wanna say around probably 11, 13 when I was dealing with weight issues and I, like I want to tell her like it's gonna be okay like you can change it like it's not something that you need to live with it was a very difficult time it was middle school and uh, Ivana had always challenged with her weight and kids were are really mean uh, so it was hard to see her being bullied I would cry and then she would come up to me and she's like don't cry mom you know I can lose a pound but they can't lose her heart when she used to be bullied I can't believe people bullied such a beautiful girl okay, the streets are pretty good for all of us. Yeah. Uh, to see her more confident at the first one. So I guess that uh, the result is going to be way better than at the first one. Yeah, absolutely. That's what we are hoping. I feel much more confident because we know the process and Ivana has prepared a lot. Well, as all mamas, I'm very happy for her. I'm so really excited to get on stage, but I feel like I've already gone through the process. Like, at least I learned a bunch of stuff that I brought last time I wasn't going to use, or, you know, little tips and tricks that you kind of, they come with a trade, but you have to go through it. Honestly, the four weeks were a lot harder than I thought. It's, it's a completely different process going from, like, fuller to lean, then from lean to full to lean again. Like, it's immensely challenging, and it was, it was mentally exhausting, but at the end of the day, it was super worth it. Like, I feel more prepared, I feel more ready, and... Mentally, I think she had a hard time with the prep because after the first show, a lot of times you want to eat and enjoy, relax, work your off season. So the first week after the show, she was on it. By the second, third week going into this show, was just like, I'm over it. The last week, her mindset was way different. But uh, emotionally, she had a little tougher time. Mentally, she was more prepared. Okay, so the wine on me pretty much is to take the edge off. 
Um, sometimes it can be a little bit more vascular. So if I'm a little bit more vascular, I won't mind. But it just um, it kind of seems like a you know, party. So I don't know. It just it pumps up my energy. The second time I got on stage, which was for Open, um, I told myself, I'm like, okay, you're here. It's for this moment that you worked so hard for, so be present in it. So I remember my first posing class, my posing coach was like, have you ever done pageants before? I'm like, no, she's like, you're really graceful. Like you walk like a pageant girl. No, is that a good thing? She's like, yeah, you have your own, you know, style on stage, but you demand attention. You have a lot of stage presence. So I definitely use that to my advantage. I kind of felt more comfortable and I would, you know, like look for the judge's attention and it just, it helps. And then little by little, I go improving on my stage presence and that I think it's really important. So that's what I like. Competing is more mental than physical, the way I see it. It's the way you see yourself, it's how much you want it, it's how much you're willing to put in for it. So most of my struggles were internally and mentally. Struggling with myself to tell myself, Okay, Ivana, this is what you wanted. Get it together, get it done. For the second competition, I was, um, I was way more comfortable backstage. I knew I needed less things. I knew that my body could do it. I knew that I looked good on stage. And I fixed the this, this things from the first one that I was messing up on. Placing at CJ's in her first competition, she was happy, ecstatic, and we just went, we didn't say she deserved better. We went right back to work and we improved and we did better. She was determined not to fail. Win, lose her, or draw, she was determined not to fail. 27, Ivana Medina Jones. 28, Aulia Osario. And please welcome to the stage competitor 31, Downey Sanchez. 15, 27, 28, and 31. Right after the show, after my second show, I ate, I'm pretty sure you guys saw, brownies and uh, I had a salad, which I really wanted, and salmon. And just that night, I was so full. I was eating and I was scared that I was gonna gain weight, but I was so excited to eat that I kept eating. And my boyfriend kept telling me, slow down, drink water. I'm like, I can't have water. I can't have water yet. So I was very extreme. I'm, I'm very, very hard on myself. I see myself different in the sense that I wanna try different things. I was really scared to do competing at first because I had never done it and I'm the type of person that I like to be sure of something when I'm gonna do it. I need, you need to try everything. You need to be a well-rounded athlete. You need to learn what your body is capable of. You need to put all that muscle that you've gained to use. I got on stage in a bikini and strut around for people to literally judge me. So I, I can, I'm more than capable to go ahead and try different sports, different, um, techniques like different ways to tone and lean my body because my body's just gonna react to that there's like there's no harm coming from it I was a little skeptic at the beginning because I, I am a person that believes in moderation and I knew this was gonna take a big toll on food on habits on changing many things and I was scared with the water so <laughs> I was a little skeptic but uh, I loved it it brought so much discipline to her it allowed her to really know her body, to cook, to put a bunch of things together that I, I had not been able to teach her. <laughs> so it was great. I'm competing probably again in November, God willing, uh, with my boyfriend. He kind of got into the swing of things, so he might be stepping on stage with me in November and that's super exciting. Uh, we would start probably 10 to 12 weeks before the actual competition. And so before that, it's just a, an improvement season for me. Um, she matured a lot, was able to put a lot of trust in somebody else's hands. As you know, Yvonne is also a coach, a coach and, and a trainer in the fitness atmosphere as well. So when somebody has knowledge already to be able to take a step back and put yourself in somebody else's hands, when you already have some of that basic knowledge, it's pretty tough and she was able to do that. 
Um, I would just invite every mother to to allow the kids to grow, you know, and, and, and to see what area they want to be and just support them. It, it might be an area where we would never think that we would do it. I would have never thought in this sport, you know. I saw it too extreme on their bodies and on their mind. But uh, it, it, it showed me that it, it, it's an amazing sport in the sense that you really have to, you know, pull everything together. Competing has changed me completely. The way I understand my body, the way I look at challenges, the way I see myself has changed a lot with competing. It helped me grow mentally, professionally, spiritually even. It helped me get more focused on what was important because if not I would have gone super deviated and just cared about my body. So I had to kind of worry about what's inside and know that, know that I had to practice what I preached, that I was created for more than average, that I was created for greatness, that I was created with a purpose and that as long as I had a pulse I had to go for it. So